What's her face? She's a taxi queen, fair body, queen of the road. Morning, Mrs. B. Oh, you're well wrapped up today. A mask and goggles. <laughs> Here, are you off to escape to throw yourself off a big slope attached to nothing but a wee snowboard? <laughs> no? Nah, I didn't think so. As that is then. Oh, wish I had a quiet life like you, Mrs. B. But with pals like mine. <laughs> Taxi for Miss Daniels to Glasgow Airport. Oh my God, Jackie, you're looking a bit rough. Oh, you stink. Are you drunk? It's only eight o'clock in the morning. Thanks for that, Heather. And no, I am not drunk. It's water in the bottle. Can we just go, please? I'm on a mission. Don't tell me. You've come up with a cure for the coronavirus and you're after to save the world. Is that what's in the wee silver thermos? It isn't a thermos. It's an urn. An urn? What? Who's dead? It's my dad. <laughs> Your dad's dead? Oh, Jackie, I'm so sorry. Look, look what you've done. You're breaking Senti's ashes, flying, spilling out all over the floor. <laughs> Oh my God, he's all over my flip-flops. He's in between my toes. Oh God, oh, he's, he's in my floor. Your dead dad. Oh my God. Oh, no way. Can you believe this? Am I going to clean this up? I'm never going to get him all back into the urn. You idiot Heather. I'm sorry, Jackie. Sorry. Stop crying. Look, I'll come back here and help you. No, I'll do it myself, Heather. No, leave it. I said I'll do it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'll get your dead dad stuck to my fingers. Oh. Well, you should be wearing PPE. You're supposed to have on wee blue gloves for the protection of your passengers. My passengers? I don't think your dead dad's getting any deeder from the risk of COVID-19, do you? Can you please stop? Um, no! Wait a minute. Is that a tea bag? What's going on, Jackie? Why is there burst tea bags in your deep dad's ashes? I can explain. I mean, Mrs. B, why would you send your deep dad to his eternal rest with a wee stash of used tea bags? <laughs> Did she think he was going to go down to the bad fire and be gasping for a wee cuppa? <laughs> oh, I was starting to wonder if it was her or me that was cracking up. I was panicking, Heather. There wasn't enough dust in the Hoover. I had to improvise. Uh, what are you talking about? Stop shouting! I'm no! My nerves are shattered. I've spent the last 72 hours chain smoking like a lab rat. Eight whole cartons trying to fill that arm. Why do you think I'm guzzling down all this water? My throat's on fire. And it still wasn't enough. All that was left were the used tea bags in the sink. And it stunk in me for light, so I had to add a wee splash of old spice. That's what the stink is. Jackie, you're no making any sense. Are you saying that's no your deed da all over my flare? I mean, what's going on here? Right, Jacqueline Daniels. Spill. Spill, Heather McHale? Spill? Really? Is that supposed to be funny? I told my mummy was dead. Blurted it out. Why would you do that? I was under pressure. Had to think in my feet. Had to think in your feet? Had to think in your feet? Can we just drive, please? My mum's flight will have touched down by now. I found him in bed with Mrs Orbison. Your mum's cleaner? Yes. I'd gone over to their house to pay her since mum was stranded in Thailand with her yoga pals. There was Mrs Orbison and my dad rolling around in mum's good Egyptian cotton sheets. If my mum had witnessed that scene, it would have killed her, Heather. Killed her. She loves those sheets. Yuck. Bulk. I'm going to have that picture in my head all day now, Jackie. Thanks for that. 
But why not just tell her the truth? How could I tell her that her husband's run off with the best cleaner she's ever had? A double whammy? You just spit it out, Jackie. That's how. Are you serious? The shock would have killed her. I've been zooming mum every day and she noticed that my dad's prized picture of Eddie the Eagle was missing from above the mantelpiece. When she asked why it wasn't there, I just panicked. I said, he's dead. That's the first thing you thought of. He's dead. <laughs> why on earth would you say that? I don't know. Come on, Heather, we've all been there. You tell one wee white lie and then it just snowballs. It one wee white lie? I told her his dying wish was that she should be allowed to enjoy her wee month's holiday. You've let your mum think that your dad's been dead all this time? She seems to have made her peace with it. She set up a wee shrine to his memory in Thailand with flowers and candles. She even got a party thistle tattoo on her left breast. That was my daddy's favourite, she said. What? The football team on her left breast? <laughs> I'm glad you're finding this funny, Heather. And you seriously think you'll fool her with ashes smelling a Mayfair lights in Old Spice? Well, yes, because she's been having visions. She's seen him standing right beside her. Clear as day, she said. I think it's an effect of the thin air up in the mountains. Oh my God, Heather. It's my dad. Answer it. Oh my God. I can't. Why not? I just can't. Answer it, Jackie. I can't, Heather. He does not know he's dead. Oh, thank God he rang off. This isn't going to go away, Jackie. The truth will out. Oh, he sent me a text. Oh my God, no. What? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, don't start that again. What did he say? He says he's seen the error of his ways and he's on his way home now. going to do, Heather? We? Oh, no. No. You're on your own with this one, Jackie. Just tell the truth. You were always good at wee stories at school. The English teacher always said you had a gift. Aye, that's true. Yeah. What about this, then? Say, you took his ashes to Lourdes, dropped him in a stream, and poof! He appeared like a genie at a lamp. We burst tea bags in his head. <laughs> Come on, Heather, we're pals. Please help me. Please, 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 please. Too late, Jackie. We're here. This is a pickup point. And if I'm no mistaken, here comes your mum. Oh, jeez, oh. How much luggage has she got? That porter's out of puff trying to push that trolley. Hey, I bet she doesn't even tip the poor guy. Welcome home, Mummy. I've really missed you. Hello, my darling Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, it's such a bittersweet home coming without Daddy. No, no crying. Life goes on, darling girl. Life goes on. Jump in, Mummy. Getting out of the rain. Heather, dear. Namaste. Still driving a cab? Aye, nothing gets past you, eh, Mrs Daniels? I'm not sure there's going to be enough room in my boot for all that luggage. Oh, I'm sure he'll manage. Jacqueline, darling, I brought you so many lovely things, lovely surprises. Jacqueline has a lovely surprise for you too, Mrs Daniels. Don't you, Jacqueline? <laughs> well, Mummy, where to start? <laughs> We'll all laugh about this for years to come, won't we, Heather? <laughs> I'm already laughing, Mrs. Daniels. Mr. Daniels is needed. Uh, uh, I, be I beg your pardon? Surprise! Surprise! Is this some kind of a joke? You know all those visions you've been having, Mrs. Daniels? Those were hallucinations. Somebody's been feeding you opium. 
You've been so totally out of your box, you were convinced that Mr. Daniels had croaked it. Daddy isn't dead. Is this true, Jacqueline? Why didn't you tell me? My priority was getting you home safely, Mummy. I've had so many nightmares. I even dreamt you had been captured and forced to become a drugs mule. Mummy's a mule? <laughs> what nonsense, darling. You know Mummy's never been anything but a thoroughbred. I thought it best to wait until you were back home safe in the bosom of your family. <laughs> Talking of bosoms, Mrs. Daniels, I heard you get a wee tattoo. Namaste. Eh, uh, who are you, mister? What are you doing in my cab? Surprise! <laughs> Doll, let me introduce my beautiful daughter, Jacqueline. Namaste, Jacqueline. Doll? Yes, Doll. It's a tiny. It means beautiful, bright stars. Jacqueline, darling, this is Mummy's new husband. What? Jackie gave me the biggest tip I've ever had, Mrs. B. But I would have done that run for free. I can't wait to see how they sort that mess out. <laughs> oh, I love my job. All right, here we are. As does again. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, 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 Jacqueline. Queen of the Road is brought to you by Witzerface. <laughs> Episode 5 Secrets and Lies. Written by Marjorie A.M. Ferry. Starring Sandra McNeely as Heather, Julie Austin as Jackie, Sheila Greer as Mrs. Daniels, and Stephen Doherty as Doll. Sound editor Donna Allen. Produced and directed by Sarah McCarthy. Executive producer Maureen Carr. Join us again next week for more Queen of the Road. She's a taxi queen thing.